most people don't realize that the future of video editing is already here, and it's powered by AI. Imagine a single AI video editor that can handle everything you need for multimedia and content creation. This next-gen AI video editor is not only easy to use for beginners, but also doesn't require a fast computer or installation, making it accessible from any device and operating system. Packed with features like a super lightweight online video editor, AI video enhancer, AI background remover, AI watermark remover, AI music generator, and many other cool AI tools. In this video, I'll show you how to access this revolutionary tool, perform basic edits, add AI video effects, and demonstrate how you can easily create animated subtitles with AI to make your video more engaging. So hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and let's get started. Part 1. AI Video Editor Go to the Wondershare Media I.O. official website. You can find the link in this video description. If you already have a Wondershare account, log in using your credentials. If not, you need to create one by clicking the Sign Up button. You can continue with Google, Twitter, Facebook, Apple, or any email account. After logging in with your Wondershare ID, open the product menu and select the Video Editor option. Click the Edit Video Now button. Click New Project button and select Video Aspect Ratio, and click Start to continue. Once the Media I.O. Video Editor is fully loaded, upload the video you want to edit by clicking the Upload button. After your video is uploaded, Drag and drop it into the editor window. Part 2. Automatic Subtitle To generate automatic subtitles, click the Subtitle menu. First, select the video language and the source video from the list. Click Generate to start generating your video subtitles. Wait for the generation process to complete. Then click the play button to preview the AI generated subtitles. Ready animated for you to simply drag and drop. Part 3 Edit and Animate Subtitle. To edit the subtitle font style, click Sequence button. Select the subtitle and click the Title button. You can then change the font family, font style, color, and more. To animate your subtitle, click the Animation button. First, set your In Animation Style, which defines how the subtitle appears. Select the animation style you like. 200 plus progress bars already animated. If needed, you can also set the Out Animation Style, or choose the Looping option to create a looping animation. Now, let's add an animated title to our video. To do that, click the Title button and select the animated title style you like. Drag and drop it onto the top layer of the video where you want to add this title. Click the Title button on the right panel. You can make changes to the text, font style, color, and more. Part 4. AI Music Generator to add music or sound effects to your video, go to the Audio menu. You can select pre-made music from the Media I.O. Music Library or generate AI music to make your video stand out. First, click the AI Generated Music option and then the Text to Music tab. Describe the kind of music you want to generate. Select the music duration and click the Generate button. Drag and drop your AI-generated music into the editor panel. You can adjust its volume from the Audio menu. Part 5. Video Transition In this part, I will show you how to create transitions between two videos. First, upload your second video and add it to the editor panel. Go to the Transition menu, select the transition style you like, and drag and drop it between the two videos. 
Let's dive right in. Part six, sticker, effect and filter. To make your video more interactive, let's add some stickers, video effects and filters. First, go to the sticker menu, select the desired sticker and drag and drop it onto the top layer of the video. This, I think, is the most basic visual representation of a progress bar. To add a video effect, go to the Effect menu, select the desired effect, and drag and drop it onto the top layer of the video. To add a video filter, go to the Filter menu, select the desired filter, and drag and drop it onto the top layer of the video. After everything is set, click the Export button to export your final video. Enter your file name and adjust the video settings to match your preferences. Then click Export to start rendering your final video. Once the rendering process is complete, click the Download button to save your video to your local computer. Here is the final result of this AI video editing tutorial. 200 plus progress bars already animated for you to simply drag and drop onto the timeline to save you time. But hey, it seems like you want to spend that time doing it from scratch. And we want to teach you how. Let's dive right in. This, I think, is the most basic visual representation of a progress bar. Part 7, AI Short Video Generator. To generate a short video from a long form video, go to the Media I.O. dashboard, then to the AI Tools menu and select the Long Video to Short Video option. Click the Upload button and select your source video. Media IO AI will automatically analyze your video and create the short video version. Once the generation process is complete, click the Download button to save your video to your local computer. Here is the result video from this part. Well, I knew Don King very well, okay? When you knew Don King, you really knew somebody, and he was <laughs> great. And, and I have a lot of respect for Bob Arum. I mean, look, he's still doing it. He's doing great. He's been doing it for 250 years, I think, <laughs> since the founding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he's still doing it great. You know, he's at the top of his game. Yeah. Uh, but I knew Don King, and I always used to say, signing a contract with Don. Part 8, AI Video Enhancer. To enhance your video, go to the Media I.O. dashboard, then to the AI Tools menu, and select the Video Enhancer option. Click the Upload button and select your source video. First, select the AI model you want to use. In this video, I will try the Video Upscaler function. After that, select the AI Upscaler option and click the Process button to continue. Once the upscaling process is complete, Click the download button to start downloading your upscaled video. Here is the video result from this chapter. Part nine, AI video background remover. To remove the background from your video, go to the Media IO dashboard, then to the AI tools menu and select the video background remover option. Click the Upload button and select your source video. Media IO AI will automatically process and remove your video background. After the background is removed, you can change it with a pre-made background or upload your own. Once everything is set, click the Download button to start downloading your final video. Here is the video result from this chapter. Part 10, AI Video Effect. To add AI effects to your video, go to the Media I.O. dashboard, then to the AI Tools menu and select the Video Effect option. Click the Upload button and select your source video. Choose the desired video effect and click the Apply button. Click the Download button to start downloading your final video. Here is the video result from this chapter. Thank you for watching this AI video editing tutorial. 
Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions. See you in the next video and bye bye.